Hello everybody, welcome back. Combat 2 by Compass Games, designed by Ross Mortel. We are in our sixth turn of our attack in the woods, and I've already put the uh, orders out, and got the tracker set up. I'm having technical, actually not technical difficulties, uh, brain difficulties today, so maybe now I'm a little more um, with it to play. We'll see. Um, Cliff uh, reminded me, or told me, I've never knew this. I always thought rerolls for a reroll any nine. Um, so, um, and he told me that those are examples where, so I'm going to actually look these up because uh, I've been playing that wrong all along. During the course of the campaign, may go to rerolls, and when one of these is gained, you take an appropriate marker, pick it on a squad sheet, clearing up the end of the game session, record the number of markers you have an appropriate. Okay. It's rolled once and discarded. May only be used during missions and patrols. I got that much of it right. Rerolls. You may use an RR marker to reroll any die roll made by one of your characters when firing, spotting, or making a morale check, TQC, or weapons morale check. A wound and morale check. Note that the RR's gained via the luck skill may only be used by that character. I don't know why, but I read that. Um, as nine. Maybe I just read this and it got me confused. I always thought I I don't know. Sometimes you ever get that where your brain sees something and you think you're right. Um, I know the re-rolls are zero, or maybe I just associated the re-rolls as re-rolling a nine. Anyway, I got a shit ton of them, and I am going to make them work. Uh, that's going to actually help me in this help me in this uh, predicament that I'm in, I'm sure, because I can just sit down here and keep rolling and, <laughs> until I get some hits on some of these bastards down here in this damn building. Um, I've got um, a grenade-throwing... Um, STG 44 guy, which is actually a break for us, and a MG 42 with rapid fire on him, which is not a break for us. I've got to get that gunner out of there, and then I've got to get the A gunner fast, too. So, fortunately, I have my guys in rapid fire, too. And um, I put these two on aim fire. This guy's coming in for a kill. I'm trying to charge up here and then sneak uh, Mitchell off over here with the prisoner and keep him out of sight. And um, I don't know whether we'll be able to do it or not. I got one charge up here also, and this guy's trying to sneak past as I rapid fire on up here. Anyway, we're going to start out with Charlie on this turn. Charlie, uh, rapid fire, can't see anybody yet. This is where I would have rather had a good, uh, I mean, a poor um, initiative so I could react more to them. All right, these guys are both charging down the there. Down here, these guys are doing nothing. Charlie down here can actually try to spot. That's Patterson. He got a wing, uh, light wound. Uh, so he's a three to try to spot. This guy goes up to a four because the plus one, seven. I don't see him. I'm not going to waste it on that. A nine maybe, but not that. Um, then we got Coleman down here on the rapid fire. He is a 5 minus 2, is a 3 minus 2 more for firing from a building. I'll double check that just to make sure because my brain is kind of having issues today. Minus 2. I just don't feel confident today, that's all. Um, so we're going to go ahead and roll, and he should have a luck on him too, and I did not use that yet. Or did I? Hmm. I don't think I did. I don't think I ever. I don't know. I, I know I never set them out. I can go back in my videos and verify it, but I know I never set them out. This guy should have one, and he should have one. And if I clone these, they don't work right. I had to give these different properties to stay with the mat, and they don't work right with the guys on the board. So I got to draw out. It's always predicaments, or not predicaments, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for, see? Compromise. Always compromise. 
<coughs> All right. So um, we're looking at three shots for one. And I w we're going to actually, with him, I think because I do have the amount of rerolls, I have a shit ton of them. That's because we had a couple of good missions where we didn't use any. The one we didn't even fire a shot because um, I was running away. We gained three plus whatever we had. Uh, we racked up a lot of them in the one patrol. We get three each mission. We start at fanatical. So some I've really racked up a ton of them. I've not rolled a whole lot of nines because I was playing it wrong. I've got a shit ton of them. And it's probably good because we're going to need it to get through this little predicament down here. So I took out three shots for one. Um, first shot is five. Second shot is seven. Third shot is two. I'm going to go ahead and use one. Reroll. To go to another two. Use another reroll. Get to a four. How many am I going to use? I really want him. Going for the grenade guy. Got a zero. Okay, that one we'll stick with. And we don't have any rerolls. Or must rerolls. So I'm going to stick with that zero, and he is not deadly. So we hit the guy throwing the grenade, or he hasn't even put his target out yet, so he does not does not have the grenade in hand yet. And we're going to have a close call. Of course we do. And he's going to have a five and a four. And he's going to pass. Now, that's, we're not going to do any more with him. Uh, Abel. Rapid fire up here. They're doing nothing. He is sneaking, can't do anything. Down here we have an aimed fire. He can't do anything but spot. He's going to try to spot this guy. He's a six plus one is a seven. Nine. Yes, we will re-roll for that. Five. We do see him. He is now noon. And he's going to be a problem too. We go to Baker. This guy up here aimed rapid fire, can't do anything. Rapid fire, can't do anything. Rapid fire down here. We have a 7. Minus 2 is a 5. Minus 2 more is a 3. We got two shots for 3. And we have the... Um, we're going for the gunner. Two shots for 3. And I have a ton of these. So I'm going to utilize them here. Oh, we don't need to. We got a 3. And a 2. And <laughs> we got 2 hits without using them. Very nice. Light wound and a light wound for our first hit is a light wound. And a bad wound and a light wound for our second hit is a bad wound. So he gets a light wound and a bad wound. The rapid fire is going to go down to his A gunner. He is going to get a light wound. Give him a duck back while we're at it. And um, he goes down to a four, seven. He fails, goes down two. That'll be shaken. And he's also going to get a bad wound. And that's going to take him down to a zero, eight. He fails again and goes all the way down to route. So we have did a, done a number on him. That's going to be a bad wound and a route. So we're going to go ahead and move this down. Two of them. And that was a good hit. That's good. They're almost at break contact, which is good for us. Um, so that was successful on that one. Uh, maroon. Or moron, which I could be. Press fire is nothing. Evading five is down to here. Sneaking one is not doing anything. Hiding nothing. That is it. The other guy is captured. Teal. Sneaking. Not doing anything. Aim fire. Not doing anything. Um, hiding. And the A gunner then picks up the uh, MG42 and starts blasting away at us. He's going to go for this stack right here. He is a 5, minus 2 for the rapid fire, goes down to a 3, minus 3 because no feeder, goes down to a 0, plus 1, goes up to a 1, minus 2 goes down to a minus 1, so he needs a 0 and a 4, and he gets 5 shots. A 9 gives him a low ammo right away because he has a feeder. A 
second shot is a seven. Third shot is another nine. And he is out of ammo just like that. He does not get his other shots. Good for us. Then maybe I can forget about him for a little while. He will duck back too. Um, that will become a duck back. Because um, this guy is now the bigger threat. Um, ain't fire down here. This guy can see. I'm starting to go to gold already. This guy can see us, so he's going to fire. So we will have to see what he is now. He becomes known. Oh, a dummy. I don't have to worry about him. All right, and then we go to gold. Rapid fire over here and a rally over here. This guy's aimed fire. Can't do anything on impulse one. Oh, he should not have done anything for the next turn, but it's not going to make a difference. This guy will place his target marker. He's going to go for these guys, and it will place a live grenade. And I did forget. No, that's Lavender Day. I'm not going yet. Lavender. Charging. They're all charging. He's going to go to that air. Ain't fire. Rapid fire. Ain't fire. They're not doing anything because they can't see anything. He is charging. We'll keep him in cover. They're not going to be able to see him because of that. I don't think. Nope, they can't see him because of that. So we can't do anything about him sneaking up behind us. That is it for Lavender. We go to impulse number two, starting out with Charlie. Nothing they can do. Rapid fire, nobody to see. These guys are charging. This guy's Charlie. He's going to go ahead, and I'm going to have him fire at this guy up here because he's going to be a pain in the butt, too. You know what? This guy, uh, it's his turn anyway. So that's going to be a range of four, which is zero. We need a four. Minus one is a three. Three. We get a hit. Nice job. And that is Patterson, who is deadly. And that is a light wound or a bad wound. I think we'll take the bad wound on that one also. I'm going to take that to a duck back. This is going to be a bad wound. I'm going to roll for him. A four he is a six minus three is a three. Goes down two. Do a shaken. Threat resolved right there. One more down here. And we go to my uh, Coleman rapid fire. Three shots for one. We're going for the guy that's throwing the grenade. Need a five minus four. Actually, the grenade in a building. That might not be a minus one. That might be better than that. Grenade in a building. Minus one. So we're going to have a minus three on that. So that's a zero, two. Three shots for two. And I will utilize some of these. Uh, six is going to miss. I'm going to use another one. First shot. Second, sh first shot again. Six again. Going to use another one. First shot again, eight missing. Second shot, six misses. <laughs> Second shot again, nine. Definitely going to reroll for that. Second shot again, five misses. Third shot, two. We got a hit. I'm going to deal with that hit. And that is going to be. Boy, we just chewed them up in a hurry, didn't we? All right, that's what they're there for. And we only get to draw one, and he is not deadly. That is a bad wound. That's good enough. We don't need anything better than that. He is going to lose his target marker. He is going to go to a duck back. Going to get a grenade near on him. Dropped grenades. Ah, uh, I I know there's something in the rules about this, and I'll be darned if I can remember it, so I'm going to um, see if I can find it real quick. Dropped grenades about guys in the hex. <laughs> Place a grenade close marker on the character and a grenade far marker on all the other characters. All right. So, grenade four. And grenade four. Oh, damn it. Yeah, we're good at doing that. 
just want to clone that. There we go. Now we can put that back on top. That's going to go down to the gunner. This is going to go down to the A gunner. What a stack we have there. And that was a bad wound. And he is a two, five. He's going to go down two, two. We're just kind of doing good here. That's going to take them down to the point of wanting to get the hell out of here. Breaking contact. Oh, that changed in a hurry. That's Charlie. Now we go to Abel. Would not have been if I didn't use it. Cliff, I am so glad you told me about that because I don't know how I managed to play that wrong, but I've already been rolling on nines on them. And that just saved my bacon. And this, you managed to tell me that at just the right time. All right. Uh, sorry about that, making all kinds of headphone noise here. Uh, we got Abel. Rapid fire, still can't see anybody. He is sneaking. He's going to sneak over to here. Uh, yeah. Did I charge them? One, two. Yes, I did. Um, he cannot do anything but fire. This guy's ducked back in the open. Let's try and get him out of there. Four goes up to a... No, it just stays a four. Because he is ain't fire in the open. Very rare they do that. But they did. And it's going to be a two. That's going to be a hit. He is just regular. Light wound. Light wound's not bad. It's not going to kill him, but it's not going to... It is going to go ahead and ensure that he is gone. Four. Yes, he's a minus six, zero. He fails, goes down to a route. That gives us one more. Going towards, going towards the surrender level now. Very nice. Baker. Can't do anything up here. Can't do anything down here. Yeah, can't do anything down there. And down here, we have our um, VAR again, who is a 7 minus 2 is a 5. This guy is ducked back in a building. we got to get him before he um, becomes hide in a building. So that's going to be a 5 minus uh, 2 is a 3. Two shots for three, and I'm going to keep these handy because I really, 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 really want him going. We'll keep them handy. First shot, we roll a six. I'm going to re-roll that. We roll a two. That's one hit. Second shot, we roll another two. <laughs> I'm getting lucky here. And that's the A gunner. Bad wound and a close call. So we'll take a bad wound on that. And a light wound and a KIA. We'll take a KIA on that. So he is completely gone. Remove the... Oh, uh, yeah. Let's leave the, remove the out of ammo. Just in case that the gunner decides to take a... Move that. And he becomes status KIA. And that's two more straight up. That going. We are hurting them bad now. This this made a huge difference, and he gets his third K of the uh, of the game. Guess the brass knew what they were doing when he sent us in here. All right, that's going to be it for Baker. We're going to go to Maroon. Suppress fire. This guy's I keep forgetting to do that. Five six to here. Sneaking one up to there. Hiding. Can't do anything. That is it for Maroon. Teal, this guy's going to sneak one. Bad move. This guy's ain't fire. This guy is going to, he is already hiding. We go to gold. That changed in a hurry. He's going to hide. These guys rapid, rapid fire and rally. He goes to hide. 
This guy zaned fire. Okay, he can see them. That's at a range of seven. Uh, minus two. He goes down to a four, uh, and he is tough. And he is going, we'll figure out the hit first. One, he's going to hit. Who's he going after? They're both tough. Odds top, even spot, VAR. Odds is going to be my corporal. He is tough, so we got to draw two cards. Bad wound or a bad wound. My corporal gets a bad wound. That sucks. And he goes down to a dice is right in the way. Goes down to a five, six, seven, down to a four. I'm going to try and pass that. Remove that. Goes down to a four. So good. We only lose one. And um, that is it for him. I'm going to put this down on my BAR so I don't get confused. And we go down one. All right. Um, I guess I know who I'm going after next with my BAR, huh? Um, Lavender. Lavender is charging. He's going to charge here. Impulse 2. He's going to go into the building where it's safer to charge through. Aimed fire. This guy's charging right to here. Impulse 2 does not get inside of us yet. Yeah, but we can't do shit about that because they're all on aimed fire, which does not help us one bit. That is it for Lavender. We go to impulse number three. Starting out with Charlie. Charlie are down here. We have rapid fire. He's going to try to well, he's got to spot this guy first. Five, six, seven. Charging in a building. I think I will make sure with my must re rolls that we see him. Five, six, seven. Charging in a building is a minus two. Goes down to a five. We roll a three. We don't need to. We automatically see him. Status known. Oh, and there's a dummy. Good Lord, we just got lucky there. All right. Turn him to the character's display very happily. Charlie down here is charging. Don't quite make it. They're going to duck back right there. Uh, Charlie down here is on aimed fire. He cannot do anything. That it's impulse three. Charlie down here is going to hide. Able. We have a rapid fire up here. We will now be seen. He should have tried to spot too. Doesn't matter. He's going to see us now. And he couldn't duck back because he's in the open. Five minus two is a three. Plus two for the range is a five. Sneaking in the open goes down to a four. So we got three shots for four. Yep, that's my Thompson. Three shots for four. Uh, we got a hit, a hit, and a nine. I will re-roll that nine. And a one. Three hits. And he is deadly, so that's overkill. <laughs> All right, what do you do? Uh, for enemy event, and four. That's when he's attacking. Enemy 81 millimeter, roll a d10. Four. We're going to get four of that. I mean, we've been getting a lot of that indirect fire. Enemy 81. I'm going to resolve that when I'm done doing all the cards. So I'm going to forget what we got there. He is a close call. We got one card out of six. The second one is a bad wound. So he's got a bad wound on him. Second draw is a light wound and a close call. He's 
got a bad wound and a light wound. And the last one is a light wound and a KIA. So we don't need to worry about anything. He is gone. Oh, sh yeah, we spotted him. I know I said I spotted him. No, I didn't. We can't fire at him. All that for nothing. Take all that back. All that for nothing. Take all that back. We got to spot him. We would have, with one of those three rolls, spotted him, but we can't do any. We can't do any fires. So, uh, no. And I'll be right back, guys. All right. Told you my brain wasn't working quite right today. All right. So we got rid of all three of them hits. Actually, we used up one of my rerolls, and I'm going to leave that out because I. You no, know what? I'm going to give it back to me. No, I didn't use one, did I? Yeah, I did. I'm going to give that back to me. Like I need it. Um, Yeah, I might need it. That's We just blew through a lot of them trying to get rid of that MG42. Um, So he cannot fire. Down here, nothing. This guy's sneaking, can't do anything. Down here, he's in fire, can't do anything. Baker, up here, he can fire. He is a four, goes up to a six, goes down to a five, gets a nine. He's got his own. I'll remove that one. Goes down to seven. I'm going to use another because I really want to get this guy. Um, actually, no, we got next turn. I'm going to leave it be. He misses him. This guy's rapid fire, can't see anybody, and we have our BAR down here. He is going to rapid fire at this guy in a depression. Ain't fire in a depression is a minus one. He has a seven, minus two, minus three, he goes down to a four. Two shots for four. One hit, and I'm going to try to get extra cards on this guy because he is tough. So we're going to use another one of the. Oh, undo that. I'm going to use another one of these. And five. Still misses. Mm, I'm going to try one more. Oh, come on, Greg. Because I'm using that to uh, roll the dice. Eight. No, I'm going to stick with just the two. He's tough. I'm deadly. It's just one card draw. Light wounds. Better than nothing that it will take the uh, aim fire off of him. That's all I care about at this point. He's going to duck back. He goes seven down to a six. Passes. Only goes down one. Yeah, we just burned all through them. Maroon. Press fire. Evading five is down. This guy is sneaking one, can't do anything. He is hiding, nothing. Teal. Sneaking, can't do anything, this impulse. Ain't fire, can't do anything, because he can't see anybody. He is laying there hurting. Gold. Rapid fire rally, hiding, hiding. We hurt him. This guy's going to go to I. We hurt them bad that turn. That was a good turn. Thank you, Cliff. You just saved my bacon. Um, Lavender. I wonder how many people play it like that. Cause I know I missed it. I, I somehow, my brain just interpreted it as re rolling nines. But you don't want to go overboard because nine times out of ten, you won't. And I'll probably never have a stack like that again because. I was only using them on nines, um, and um, so I've, God knows I've rolled plenty of dice for I would have liked to have had that roll back. Uh, lavender, aim fire, rapid fire, aim fire, nothing. This guy's charging. He's going to come into here, and he is going to put a melee on, and my guys are going to lose their aim fires. And that is it for Lavender. The other guy disappeared. That is it for Impulse number four. We will go oh, undo um, Impulse number three. We will go to Impulse number four. 
starting out with Charlie. Rapid fire can't do anything. These guys are now hiding. He is hiding because he got shot. Um, before I go there, I got two Charlies down in, one Charlie down in here. He has a four to hit, and I may end up using one of these right down here in that melee. Four to hit. Just to get cracks on him. I don't need to really worry about him. Because Walker will go next. So, but I would like him to go. Because he's deadly. He'll get two cards. Four. Six. I'm going to use one. And we roll again and get a nine. I'm going to use another one. And we roll one more time and get a happy face. And I will take that one. Yeah, we're down to two. Thanks, Cliff. I burned through like... 11 re-rows in a turn here, and it, but it's helped me through this turn. As you see, they've gotten a lot of guys out. It's just my fortune to have them. Two, two uh, cards, because he is deadly in melee. I'm going to teach this guy to enemy event. Damn it, we're getting a lot of them. Nine. And that is the attacking chart. Uh, minefield. Roll during the orders phase. No. <laughs> place a minefield marker on the hex. Also place minefield markers on all adjacent hexes and have that that have a column number equal to or higher than the original hex. Ah. Uh. Okay, so we're going to place a minefield. Remember where I put that one? There we go. We're going to have a minefield there, and in each adjacent hex. I have a column number equal to or higher than the original hex if entering from directions 1, 4, 5, or 6. Or adjacent hexes with a column number equal to or lower if entering from 2 or 3. Well, we came down from here, so we came down from direction 1. So all that have a column number equal to or higher. Oh boy, what am I doing here? Ah, oh, man. Oh, you know what? I know what it is. I gotta select them. All adjacent hexes equal to or higher. Oh boy, I'm making a mess of things here. Ah. Uh, yep. Yeah. See, Steve, you're not the only one that messes up. I do it on a regular basis. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I love putting controls on things so they don't move around much, but it does make things very difficult. We are in a minefield. Fighting in a minefield. If we enter or leave the hex with sprint orders plus one, if we check the enter, if we try to leave it, we got to roll for a uh, TQC. If we search it, we can make it easier getting out of there. Entering or leaving mark minefield uh, allows a plus three on the TQC. Ah, this gets better and better. This mission has been the mission from hell. Okay, now I'm trying to remember where I was at. Okay, we were drawing. We had a light wound. 
to get rid of all these. The second card for his hit is a close call. So we'll take the light wound on that. Good thing I went for it because we didn't. And yeah, we hit. That's just you take the better card on it. And he's got to take a wound and morale check. So he goes from a four down to a three and fails miserably and goes down three. That is huge. Cautious, shaken, route. Straight the route, and that will be a surrender just like that. Increase that one. Take off the charge. Take off the melee. Put a, that was Patterson, wounded. That's the one captured in melee. And he's also going to get guard duty. And these guys are all going to be ducked back. Nice. Fighting in a minefield. How the German ran through the minefield, I don't know. Um, that will bring up Abel. We got a rapid fire up here. Five, four, three, four, five, minus one is a four. Three shots for four. I'm going to try to just do this without getting anything. We got a zero, a one, and a six. I'll take the two hits because we're deadly. Yeah, we, we managed to do it even legitimately. Close call, KIA. First hit. Enemy event again. Good Lord Almighty, help me here. Uh, I think that's going to be the 81s we were supposed to get last time. Yep, so it all all just got put off a turn because it turned out exactly the same as it did when I uh, misplayed at the impulse before by firing before he spotted. So we're going to roll a D10 and we're going to get three 81 millimeters instead of four. And I'm going to go ahead and draw his second wound, even though we already got a KIA on him. Get that out of the way so I don't forget. This guy's going to disappear. He will actually get a KF this time. I also got to do this guy. He is routed or captured, so that's going to be a minus one. This guy just got killed. That's a minus two. That anybody within three at the end of this turn is going to surrender. And we got to do the German fire here. Um, 81 millimeter. First one drops at 4-4. Four, four. Out of the way. Not even going to do it. Second one drops at 8. 5-17. This is all for... This mostly would affect them if they were going to be... If we were still back here in attack positions. I'll look to see where that one goes. That's going direction six away from us. We don't need to do anything with that one. And the last one. Seven. Four, four. Don't need to worry about that one either. So no harm, no foul on them. This guy is gone. Oh, come on, Greg. Seriously. <sighs> All right, KIA. We go to Baker. <coughs> oh. <coughs> I've been playing this guy the whole time as if he has a, a um, rapid fire. I'm sorry, guys. I'll be back. Told you I just was not thinking clear. Uh, I've been playing this guy the whole time as if he's had a um, rapid fire on him. Though he did not get the fire until now. So he should have placed a grenade. It didn't actually hurt anything. He still would have been able to spot like he did. So it didn't actually hurt anything. So 
The target would have been here on impulse one. Impulse two, we could have moved the target, but I really didn't want to do that because the guy's coming at us. So we're going to leave it there. We're just going to leave it leave it go at that. We're going to put put the live grenade over here. It's not going to hit anything. Good lord, I'm a lost cause sometimes. Rapid fire down here. Um, this guy should have snuck and did not. Sneaked, snuck. <laughs> Um, and this guy is ducked back because we are no longer in melee down here. We go to Maroon. They're not going to be doing much now. Suppress fire. Evade five goes, or six rather, goes up to here. Bull just walked right into my range. That's it for Maroon. Teal. He disappeared. Ain't fire, can't do anything. This guy is routed, hiding, can't do anything. These guys are rapid fire and rally, hiding, hiding. And lavender. Lavender's aimed fire, rapid fire, and captured it. This guy's aimed fire. So they got nothing going on. That is the end of that turn, and that is. The end of the game because they've already reached. That was a hell of a turn, and I owe that one to Cliff because he reminded or told me because I've never known that that the re rolls are for any roll, not just a nine. I've been playing them wrong since for a year now, so I no longer have a stack of them. But that having the stack of them turned this game around in just one freaking turn. So they went down to surrender. Anybody within three of us. Is going to surrender. He already surrendered. Both of these guys surrender. This guy's not within three. He's going to get away. This guy's not within three. He's going to get away. Not within three. He's going to get away. Both of these guys are getting away. I'd like to see what I've. What I avoided. Another NCO and an MG42. Wow. Whenever I complain about not being lucky, somebody remind me that my artillery barrage took out an MG42 and made him worthless for the game. These guys are going to get away. Dummy. This guy's going to get away. Dummy. This guy's going to be captured. Oh, come on, Greg. Seriously? That's going to be a dummy, so we're not going to capture him. Uh, this guy's going to get captured. He is alive, so... He's down here with our captureds. This guy's within three. He's going to be captured. And that is another STG-44. And these guys are all getting away. Another STG-44. Oh, Jesus. And another uh, NCF. Boy, we did draw all the NCOs on that one, didn't we? And the grenade went off up here. All we're going to do is put smoke on that. Remove all of these. Remove all orders. This guy don't need to rally because the game's over. These guys surrendered. Go through and read out our um, victory levels here to see how we did. Get the light on. I can't really see. I didn't turn my office light on. Just now I got to read. I need it. Uh... Okay. Well, we're going to get each enemy character killed, not officer or NCO. 
Wow. One. Each NCO character killed. Two, three, four, five. Each enemy officer killed. Six, seven, eight. So I got eight on the kills. Now, on captures. Captured. 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 We got eight. <clears throat> Each enemy prisoner, not NCO, is going to be three. Nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. NCOs are going to be 4 each. It's going to be 28. Friendly square character alive but wounded and unbanded. We go down to 26 because we got two of them. Yeah, that went to the German. Two of them. Uh, they will have plenty of time to bandage them, so I will consider them bandaged for rolling purposes, but not for the uh, game purposes. We're not going to need them anyway. Nobody left the map. We only got two guys up here, so we go back up two more because we've got this uh, house covered. So that is another superb victory. So we're going to get another commendation in our, thank God, if I had to grind this through to the last man, we'd still be fighting. I think we'd take it easy enough, but we'd still be fighting a while. Uh, so I'm glad the Clifton was smart enough to come up with the confidence tracker because it makes more sense. The Germans would not fight to the last man. Let's get our campaign up here. 47 minutes is a little long. All right, I'm going to come back and do a campaign um, video, get this one off the air. That was a superb victory. We did good. Uh, thanks, Cliff, for getting me through that turn with that knowledge. Um, I owe that turn to you, and actually, that's a superb victory. See you guys next time. Have a great day.